County government is currently planning a 4.2 billion NT dollar project to build a 10 and a half kilometer area cable car to promote local tourism. Several other scenic areas, such as the Sun Moon Lake and Mount Hehuan, are also considering similar cable car systems. While some people approve of such projects, others feel that it won't bring commercial opportunities to the communities as expected. Some observers say it is inappropriate to build cable cars on indigenous land where the residents are not prepared. Central County government is planning a 4.2 billion anti dollars project to build a 10 and a half kilometer rail cable car in Uvon Township to boost local tourism. The area was serious damage in a typhoon of 2004. The county government hopes to revive the town's tourism business with a cable car system. Some of the locals agree. I think if we launch this project, this plan to build cable cars, it would bring benefits to this place. It would be very good for us. It would boost our local industries. Cable cars have become the latest choice for the indigenous communities, which are aiming to develop the local tourist industry, apart from Ulai, which already has a cable car system. Some like in Nanto is the first indigenous place to have a privately run cable car system, which will be completed in June. Several other county governments have also proposed plans to build cable cars since last year. All comes to the same reason, to attract more visitors to the indigenous scenic spot to help boost the local tourism business. But indigenous people are divided on this project. Well, they should do it soon. If there is typhoon and the road is damaged, then we can't take the cable car to Bolai. It's better and more convenient. <laughs> the system will be built far away from the community. Most visitors will only take the main road to the tourist spot. There's no benefit for our community. In the future, our Dao people will co-manage a boating service. The boats will take visitors from Sun Moon Lake to the pier to visit our community. Currently, the pleasure boat operators in Sun Moon Lake are worried that once a nearby tourist center completes its expansion, they will have their own boats. Then the customers only use the boating service offered by the village operator instead of taking the local service. Not only it's uncertain whether the construction would benefit local communities, its impact on the indigenous culture and environment has also become a concern. Once tourism facilities are installed, the local land value will go up and commercial opportunities will rise. As for the land, the Han Chinese will immediately find ways to take it over. So before the indigenous communities are prepared, Convenience in transportation will only accelerate the death of the indigenous communities. The cable car system in Sun Moon Lake is infested by the private sector and due to be completed in June. The other proposed systems, including the one planned by the Shenzhou County government, are still under discussions. It is still uncertain whether the project will come through. TITV Weekly.